And in celebration of Youth Day, we have rapper and artist Yonella in studio with us. She created a poetic rap called Born Free. Here she is with her take on being a Born Free. The floor is yours. Thank you. Yeah, Maizo now, it's Maizo later. Yeah, so music productions. Let me do it now. Yeah, we were told you born free, but we still struggle. See, we walk in alleys with magnified vision. See, free people in our minds, when our society has become our own prison. We were told you born free, but we still struggle. See, we walk in alleys with magnified vision. See, free people in our minds, when our society has become our own prison. My name is Maiza Leda Taika. I'm from Nyanga. Grew up born bread and butter. I'm sure I'm gonna be sliced the side. I'm a Cape Townian for heart, I'm Cape Townian for mind, I'm a ghetto child. This is this is basically my livelihood, my habitat. This is where it all started, the music, the art and everything else. This is where it all started. Yeah East. Basically this is it. This is the famous Lakban. Yeah. Yanga East. Yeah, it makes him calm right now. It's not a calm environment at all. I was just like fun, so I mean. Yeah, fit. Mine's a leader, ne? Never forget the name. Always get the name. Yeah. Yanga is the most dangerous township in, in, in Cape Town and in South Africa as a whole. And in the world, you know. Like growing up here, you have a choice whether to be like them, the rest of them which have taken a, a crime and have turned it into a culture, you know. We can say that crime in Nyanga is something like a culture. It's something that they think, nah, it's easy to do a crime when you're in Nyanga, you know. So I had to choose between falling or just being a, the poet that I am. But I chose to be the poet that I am and writing about everything else that happens in my township. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner two years. Uh, so a relationship you go to the Kule and Abazal were two and years. The Kutsong Mamma, Eto, the Stella Wokwabo, a walk in a pack. And all it like Belling of Pangeli, most of life warm the cool labo. Marame Bambi peace jobs, a span and a secret, and all that. Um, and when the inner sister Bamma by two about Talakum, the brother I mean. Brother, I mean, Katas was just full, but like growing up, he was always in hospital most of the time. And now, he already when already had a job, had a child somewhere, we would look after him as a kid, babysit him, take turns, you know. So I can say we raised him here since a single papa. I went to St. Mary's Primary School. At school, really, I was very active. Drama, so parties, you know, I was there. If it was something cultural, especially, I will always be there. Society has become our own prison. Our own prison. Yeah, I mean, it's all the process that I go to culture about to see my mom. Yeah, so now we're experiencing one of those days about we're going to audit a catch. Umbo brothered me, shielded me, and I was never afraid. He felt that Iman is so informal, them left him young. He fell like a soldier, he died like a gangster, but us neither. His sin was being born in the gassy edge for being a son of the soil, for being tall and strong. I don't know why they kill our brothers and sisters so cruel. With this one, I plead, let's go back to living for each other. Because we black, same blood, no matter what. Society. Has <laughs> So Recently, we moved here in Kailicha. Me and my family, we now live here. Abandona bang, kuyonela, nusamkelo, siswa bumtala, akeko ap, unospiyo. So indombe ame sbini, eya i pam kuyonela, pam kuyonela unospiyo i aswele kunisigelele. Ndoni wafuma nuba mrabula. Go twenty, cause one like twenty ten. Was was of Fumaneca, one September twenty ten, of Fumaneca September twenty eleven. Say, let go, let him come in. Otherwise, you need to mama abandon by four, but you can go to abandon a mamba tat. The third of September, it was the last day I ever saw my sister alive. That my sister was a lesbian and me also coming out at that time, exactly at that time that her body was just discovered, you know. 
it made me think ne? I was afraid and also people would, would would ask me the same question are you not afraid that you're also going to die the way your sister died you know but I think my sister's death you know it really made me say I just want to see what they do to me I don't care about them now it made me more of an activist that you know what our parents also you know they were not allowed to be black in South Africa but it's not like they chose not to be black in South Africa. They fought for what they believed in. And that's what I chose to do. That's why I chose to be an activist at that, exactly at that time. Okay, I'll be a poet and with my poetry, I'll be an activist. And that way, I'm gonna be me. And I'll show everybody that I'm not afraid to be me. If today I die for being a lesbian, then that is also gonna be the freedom of other lesbians that are gonna be born in the townships that we live in. What really made me most angry now is finding out that my sister now was killed by her own friend. And the community was still defending it by saying, he's a humble guy and he can't do something like that, you know. And that made me angry because now we could see the community being split into two. Now it was like tea, you know? We are lying about what really happened, whereas everybody knows what really happened, and we have lost Unsiki that way, and Unsiki will never come back, even if, like, Singatanda has or, or do anything. There's no way Unsiki I'm a boy. Even nobody that guy would say, I'm sorry, or what. His sorry didn't mean anything. It just made me more angry, because him saying sorry now doesn't mean that he didn't do it, or it won't change the past, or what really happened. Because I lost a sister, and yeah, he lost nothing. He lost nothing. He just lost a few years. Also, a long way. And it's not like a long way. 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 A have everything. Sister, how do we know? We don't even know how to call her where she is. We don't even know how to visit Yena where she is. But Yena, he's busy saying another thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, but he makes he made me angry at that time. But I'm glad I can say I forgave him just for my well being. Wow, this is a person not cut a glam. Because of that, I've lost so many friends. Can't tell for ludicrous reasoning or none at all. Wah, wah, umbo. Brother Nia shielded me, and I was never afraid. He thought that Iman is so informants, them left him young. He fell like a soldier. He died like a gangster, but as neither. His sin was being born in the gassy edge. For being a son of the soil, for being tall and strong. I don't know why they kill our brothers and sisters so cruel. With this one, I plead. Let's go back to living for each other. Cause we black, same blood, no matter what. Society tore us apart, it's time we stood up and face love. It just needs us with no blood on our hands. So please, brothers and sisters, just love us, don't hate us, don't hug us, don't rape us, don't do anything. We were told you born free, but we are still struggle. See, we work in alleys with magnified vision. See, free, P, we're never mind. We're society has become our own.